The first one here is on the screen just now. It's from Bury It Kermit, um, sent us in the team. So how this works is, first of all, we say yay or nay, in which we like the team or we dislike the team. Um, yeah. And then second of all, we uh, we chat about what we would do if we had one free transfer. Um, because we don't want to tell people the wild card. We don't want to tell people to bring out the premiums. We're just going to see what we would do if this was our team. All right. So um, I know some people send... Uh, send in their teams with a little bit of um chat but unfortunately we've got a guest today and i can't be faffing about with all that shit so uh, <laughs> so Sorry, so guys. what would we do with this team what would you do right now um clay i'm a big fan of i'm a big fan of Beric, uh, clayter says can we still send in your teams not for tonight but um if you send me your team i'll fucking i'll just i'll just do it so send me your team on twitter um and i'll uh, i'll i'll do it before saturday all right. I'm after it too. I mean, Dave, if you need to stick around, you know, I'm happy to. I'm, I'll stay on as long as I need. So, uh, you know, I, I just want to make that clear. But um, <laughs> okay. this, is this FPL Kermit's team on here right now? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I've yeah, got an awesome, okay. by the way, look at this shit, right? I press zero and it just goes to the next ones. Look how cool that shit is. That's awesome. smooth. That's I know. Smooth. I know. It's like a, this it's streaming like stuff. Gold. This streaming stuff's easy. I'm telling you. We're rating all teams all night, boy, says Tommaso. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I, I don't have that long. I, I need to uh, sleep. I've got to work at 9 a.m. Not all of us can be working from home and take a late night, a late day if they need to. Um, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go uh, in tomorrow hung the fuck over. Brian says, funny, since I asked that question about the template, and then here we are, template. Okay, so um, right away, uh, we've got Pope. Uh, everyone loves Pope, although I don't think Pope, if I was to wildcard this week, would be my favourite. I think Heaton would be my favourite, and I would just kind of double up whenever I need Lundstrom. Um, but yeah, so we've got Pope, Alexander-Arnold, fine. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Stay, stay. Alexander-Arnold's fi absolutely fine. Lundstrom, Otamendi, a bit template, but whatever. Uh, Salah, Mount, Madison, Madison, a good shout. De Bruyne, Sterling, playing a 3-5-2 with Abraham and Pookie up front. And then you can see that he's actually benched uh, Farquad for the Liverpool game. He's got Hanley, uh, who is the defender that had, I think, maybe about 60 minutes, uh, f but hasn't really played. And Jimmy, Jim, 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 uh, <laughs> he's actually a Norwich fan. So he's our, he's our Norwich fan that's been in the stream since day dot one. And he knows that Hanley doesn't play anymore, which is why I haven't brought him in yet. But I'm very tempted, um, as he's only four million. So what do you what do you reckon about this team? Yeah, I really like it. To be honest, um, yeah, I really like it. I don't think there's anything wrong with this team at all. Yeah, should we just you hold? Know, at the end of the day, you say two template like it's a bad thing, but we're so early in the season that the template is what you want. You know, it's not time to it's not time to be too experimental with your uh, differentials yet. You know, stay stay with the template and. Uh, when you, if you find yourself in a position where you need to improve your rank, that's when you start bringing in differentials and choosing, you know, different captaincy choices and whatnot. For me, this is an ideal team. It's lovely. Yeah. Madison and So Young Kyu have fantastic fixtures as of next week. Perfect. Keep it as it is. Roll a transfer. Yeah, and and like uh, uh, who got the assists podcast this week? I don't know if you've listened to it, buddy. Um, but it's one that I don't miss every week. It's it's who got the assist and uh, FML FPL because those guys are fucking hilarious. Um, but the yeah. uh, the you missed something in the chat, FPL Dave. What did I miss? Let me know what I missed. Um, but yeah, so uh, uh, something that who got the assist said, uh, which is that although you've got you know template players, Sterling, De Bruyne, and Otamendi, that. Th three players added together only 1.6 or some shits uh 1.6 percent of of teams in fpl own those three all together yeah, so I so those that, yeah. so those as a collective are are very much template um but not many people have them uh as you know a group of of players so in that in that respect and it's the same thing that the ff uh scout has been saying for ages um joe on 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 the scout cast said that mount is a shield and abraham is a shield but put them together and what do they make they make a sword right 
obviously um and i love that i love that shield sword shit it's it, it does my it, it, it does it does my soul some good and it, it, by the it, way it i'm tickled your game uh, it does and by the way i'm just letting you know like i'm i'm fairly drunk right now. <laughs> I'm fairly drunk right now so so i, I and and i know I, I can recognize that because i'm i'm definitely not using my words correctly but hey you're using them fine and i know what you mean and and these the thing is i've always felt this with these combinations because this is an argument that's put i remember this every season we have this it's like well yeah but do you have otamendi de bruyne and sterling only 1.8 percent of managers that's one in 50 managers that have exactly the same three man city players now i would wager that if you took the number of managers that have two City attackers and one City defender, be that Edison or Walker or Bernardo Silva and Sterling and Aguero, actually the number would be much, much higher. So although you can say only 1.8% of managers have Otamendi, De Bruyne and Sterling, it might be that 50% of players have two Man City attackers plus a Man City defender. So I, I wouldn't, I would take that with a pinch of salt personally, but I am a cynical bastard. I've just recognized uh, what they were saying that I've missed, and it was a donation. <laughs> oh, I've actually turned off all notifications because I've got a guest, but um, Andy actually, was it Andy? No, uh, yeah, Andy, what an assist. Cheers for the 875. Thank you so much, Andy. Um, I really, really do appreciate that. Who was what that? I can go back. Uh, I've missed something. I think it was just the, yeah, yeah. Was it Andy? Andy, Andy, like, let's talk Andy. Or, I'm at 037 Streamlabs. What an assist, Andy. Cheers for the 875. Thank you so much. I've totally missed it. <laughs> I've totally missed it. We've been chatting. The message didn't come up halfway to your membership. Um, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, no, I've turned them all off, Andy, because uh, obviously uh, we've got a guest and I didn't want it to, like, start shouting about Aguero. But thank you so much. That, I really appreciate that. Mr. Let's Talk FPL just sent me half of my uh half of my membership to to ff scout that's amazing thank you so oh, much buddy appreciate that's that that's so nice you and you, you and i've got to send him four quid <laughs> i've got to send you four quid <laughs> yeah, okay, i'll take half of that too. <laughs> that's fine i'll take it in my next invoice <laughs> um right so what are we saying this well let's let's move on um but uh yeah so we're both holding right madison then great team don't make any chance yeah i yeah. agree right let's press zero okay so the next game or sorry the oh. next team comes from fpl king who, by the way, uh, is one of your very first uh, fans of uh, Fantasy Bet. I don't know if you know that or Fantasy. Yeah, Fantasy I, I, Weekly. I, I really, I really, I love FPL King. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a big guy. David, yeah, he's, he's he's cool and he's he's always been very very supportive of, yeah. um, of, of 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 everything that I've put out. So he's yeah, I've got a lot Actually, of love for him, and I love his team as well. Again, I I don't like. There's nothing to do here, in my opinion. You know, all of his. He's going to have 11 players playing. We can't see his bench, but we'll assume that, you know, he's got at least one playing player. Again, I, I don't think there are any issues here. Maybe wan depending on his injury situation, maybe I'd look at dealing with him, but I'd probably wait until after the international break now. So, yeah, yeah, nothing from me on, on, on this front. I think he's fine. Brian says, Salah... Brian, sorry, Brian says AWB to Soyenku and invest funds, in my opinion. Um, if we were to do that, so Wambasaka has tonsillitis, which doesn't last long, to be honest. Either they're going to take his tonsils out, which is two days recovery, because my big brother got it, or they're going to let it lie, which is about five days, and he's had more than five days. So he should be fine for next game week. And as you and me love a stat, we're the only ones on Fantasy Weekly that like stats, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed that, but Holly Let's fucking talk- hates them. Thank you. Let's talk about Man United's XGA. They're s- it's so good, right? Let's it look is. at it, right? I'm going to go to understand right okay. now this is the best part yeah. about streaming right understat.com i'm gonna press the two I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go for a quick week so again i'm 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 three tins in you've lost it i haven't left at all you better bring I'm, one you better bring i've broken one a deal We're gonna but go you, you can thing. <laughs> you can expand on this whilst i'm waiting yeah yeah so so manchester united okay have been so unlucky um the best xga of the entire season i don't know if you guys can see that i'm pretty sure you can um the entire season manchester united have had the best defense okay so so uh, for those who aren't familiar this is uh, understat.com it's a very very good website of checking the stats and uh 
they take things into account uh, XG, XGA, you can click on the little uh, settings button, you can pick um, non-penalty XG, non-penalty XGA, which can you know, confirms how good players are without penalties, but includes uh, assists, etc, etc, etc. They take all the information, they put it together, and uh, they've come up with it. Manchester United have the best expected defence, so they've, they've conceded They've conceded seven goals, but they should have only conceded five and a half. So they're kind of close, but not exactly. They should maybe have kept one more clean sheet. And then very, very close to them is Leicester, who I think, you know, Holly said it on Fantasy Weekly, right? That she was captaining Salah against Leicester. But Leicester not only have the second... Excuse me. Uh, there's the bourbon. Um, Leicester not only have the second best expected GA of any team in the league but they're also not overperforming by excuse me again that much um 5.74 expected goals conceded to five goals conceded that is that is extremely extremely good like mm -hmm. we can't we can't stress enough how good Leicester's defense is this season based on the stats and based on actual conceded goals what do you think yeah, I, I I couldn't agree more. I, I think in 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 Wambasaka and Soyonku you have good value. The question I suppose is, would I use a transfer to go from one to the other? And my answer to that is no. Manchester United, as you pointed out, are incredibly unlucky when it comes to the number of goals they conceded. They are top of the game as far as XGA goes, and I put quite a lot of faith in XGA. I think eventually they're going to return to the mean, and the mean for Man United means clean sheet. Is Wan Bissaka the best value player on that team? Maybe David De Gea is better value because Wan Bissaka, one of his big flaws, and it was a, the it's case attack. last season, yeah, yeah, is attack. Yeah. Exactly. I feel like if you're only investing in the clean sheet, you might as well be getting save points in that as well with with De Gea. So. I would say if they're both 5.5 million, I would I would maybe consider De Gea over Wan Bissaka, but I would not be getting rid of Wan Bissaka. I don't think that's worth a transfer, as you say. If he's only got tonsillitis, he'll be back in game week nine. So um, Tommaso, who hosted us, said, "Has Man United been unlucky, or are they just tight, but make really oh. stupid mistakes?" Actually, before you answer that. Before you answer that, I'm going to read this out from Molpheus3000. Very odd, but hi, tongue in loftus cheek slash James. Long time no speak. Haven't seen you since third year of uni. Possibly already done my rate my team from Reddit. You slash Morpheus. Norfolk and chance, but thought I'd just say hi. It's Adam Mole, who used to live with Coleman. Oh, no way. Really? He's in the stream Adam. right now. <laughs> That's so weird. This is crazy. Yeah, Adam. Yeah, that's it's really weird because Adam is um is I know Adam really well. Yeah, I, I won't say a second name because it's it's public. Do it, I, fucking GDPR. Go, go nuts. <laughs> it's, 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 it's the most it's the most obvious second name going. It's, it's, his name's Adam Smith. Smith. Yes. He's, yeah, yeah. He's a great he's a great guy. He was always the last to leave at a party. So that's that's how I remember him. Is is he was always the, Hello, the last Adam. to leave at a party. Welcome so um, he's uh yeah that's 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 really. That's blown me away. That's really weird. <laughs> last year he was. Too it's, it's really honestly. That's, yeah, that's really Streaming's weird. mental, by the way. This uh, the amount of shit that just pops up. Two hundred twelve in the world last 212 year. Two hundred twelve in the world. No way. Wow. That's crazy. I can't believe it. all this time. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm I, I was. I was. I mean, we weren't co-inhabiting, but we. You know, there were. There were. You know, there, he was. I, I saw him a lot, and and little did I know that he was a dormant. FPL champion in the making. Yeah, let's get him on as guest, says Tomoso. Yeah, yeah Adam Smith cool. is Adam Smith in your he's FPL more team. interesting than me, for sure. <laughs> okay, so uh, so what are we thinking about uh, Mr. King's team? So we've got Wambasaka. We've talked about him enough. I think he's okay to keep, I, especially against Newcastle next. Like, if he plays, that's a clean yeah, exactly. sheet. Newcastle are exactly. shite. Tomori's fine. Lundstrom's fine. Van Dijk's fine. I would I would love to have Lund, uh, I would love to have Robertson and Trent Alexander-Arnold instead of Van Dijk, but Van Dijk will do especially oh, against Leicester like um, you like him because he's on your team all right a -A. <laughs> uh, Sterling Salah Mount Cantwell Pookie Abraham I actually don't like so one of the things on my wild card was that I didn't like having Cantwell and Pookie because they yeah, both they both don't play well against 
any team that they're playing away, right? So that is a thing. Now, the scenes that are going to take place when they blank this game week at home against Aston Villa, right? If they don't produce the goods again at home, then everyone, they're, they're going to fall faster than the fucking Berlin Wall, right? It's, it's going to be, it's going to be mental because right now we are hoping that they only blank away and they do really well at home. But you've got Cantwell and Pookie and it, I'm assuming because you've only sent me your uh, your your team and not your bench, uh, Mr. Big. Now that might have just been because I cut your bench out. I don't actually remember. I was doing it really quickly, like five minutes to nine before we started streaming. But um, but yeah, so Cantwell and Pookie has to be playing um, on the team. I don't like that because 50% of their games, they don't produce. So... Mm, but at home they, they but at home they, 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 they are do. very very good yeah so um, are you okay with them only being able to produce 50 percent of the time or not yeah i, I think that's a, a very good point you've raised there actually i i wouldn't I, what i'm imagining here and I, I might be mistaken but i imagine that fpl king has a very very good bench and that actually campwell is only being played because he's at home against aston villa and that usually campwell would be on the bench himself if, the, if you're ever going to double up on Norwich's hack, it's against a recently promoted side at Carra Road. That mm-hmm. is the time to play two Norwich attackers. Hopefully, he's not dependent on that double Norwich attack, because in which case I agree with you, most of the time, that's that's not going to work out. Oh, um, Molpheus, your old pal Adam Smith, has, uh, has just said that he's second cousin to Todd Cantwell. No close, though. Haven't seen him in years. Uh, and obviously the chat has told him to uh, text him and ask him about his hamstring. Um, the that fact has... that he's even he's even seen Todd Cantwell, you know, I don't care that he hasn't seen him in years. The fact that he's even seen Todd Cantwell in the play <laughs> is, uh, is exciting enough for me. <laughs> Brian's asked him to get him to do a few lunges on video, so we're sure. Now, I, I, I read a tweet, actually, that was really, really, uh, it was really enlightening that said that the only reason why people are starting this rumor or, or, or adding on to this rumor is because he was seen leaving training early, but then he Instagrammed a picture of him um, at training or, or during a game or something, but then noted that he was doing a charity event that night. So he might have just been given leave to, to do it, but we're not going to know anything until until the manager says something tomorrow during the presser, right? So I think, I mean, Cantwell's a bencher plus start if he has a good fixture like a really good home fixture uh, exactly. anyway so so you better have someone on your bench that can cover him uh, if you're playing him for 90 minutes every single game week and but remember this is this is the man who scored against man city at Carroll road as well mm. you know i'm not saying he's going to do that every every week but and he missed a know, sitter I... last week right he missed an he absolute sitter. exactly that that ridiculous yeah. that ridiculous head headed attempt yeah so he's you know he's He's definitely, he's got potential. I would say in, in response to Adam and the fact he's second cousin Todd Cantwell, remember Todd Cantwell is from Norfolk. And as <laughs> such, most people are second cousins to, to other Norfolkers. So you know who I'm, as as... I'm actually second cousins to Brian Murphy. Now I'm a big Celtic supporter. You might not, who Bri- not know who Brian Murphy is. He's a Rangers uh, player who started as their under 21s and then moved down south to Sunderland or something like that then moved back up to Rangers and then got injured last season so so I, I'm no stranger to being second cousin to some big top 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 players okay um and I and I <laughs> and I know just how long it's been since I seen him I think I was about oof 12 and I remember him doing this cool thing that I'd only seen for the, cause I'm Canadian, right? I, I was, I was born here, but I moved to Canada when I was six months old. And then I, oh, really? there, I, I never knew that. that's why I sound like I'm from a posh place in Scotland. I'm actually not. I'm from Drum Chapel, which is the, the most, the hard, the hardest place I've been to. You um, sound very Scottish to me. Yeah. That's because you're a fucking mini wanker from fucking like <laughs> Norwich. Yeah, um, yeah. No, I'm, I'm kidding. This is what um, you all sound like to me. <laughs> <laughs> you all sound Scottish. Uh, you all sound like people up from from beyond the wall to me. Um, <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, 
uh, Malfia says, to be fair, I'm from Suffolk, so there's a little bit of distance between us. All right, there's yeah, distance. Yeah, but... it's all East Anglia, mate. It's all East Anglia. <laughs> Come yes. on. I, I, don't know, I don't know the geography, but I'm he's assuming that was a zinger. He's from, he's from Stowe Market, which is basically... <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, all right, so this this team, I'm assuming that we're, we're, we're holding as well, right? There's nothing nothing really that I, I can say. Obviously, yeah, we, we don't know who's bench, but let's move on. Uh, yeah, it's fine. M- Mr. King, you're fucking doing amazing, all right? You're doing better than me, at least. So, so let's move on. Yeah, um, good team, yeah. All right, so uh, this was sent in from uh, David Webb. Um, and David Webb has has a few issues in his team, he thinks. But no, he's, he's, no but I don't think he does at all. No, he he fair tweeted fair. me. Hold on, let me let me let me go to the tweet because I'm sure I'm sure he said something like like rip me with it or something like that. He he used a good yeah, phrase. Yeah. What there, are we think? What are we thinking, boys? He says. What are we thinking? He's got one free transfer and 0.2 million in the bank. Um, the answer is fucking nothing. Like there are going to be people with actually shit teams who are going to be really annoyed at the current RMTs that we've had because they've all been very, very good, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think um, we can skip this one as well. This is very similar to the last one. He's got Alexander Arnold, he's got Pope, he's got Matip, who is obviously better than Gomez since uh, we watched that game against who was it again that they played in the Champions League? That they won they just won four three two Alberg. against. Yeah, and, and, and Gomez was absolutely pans. He was nowhere to be seen during some of the goals. He gave away balls all the time gomez was shite so i think i think you know obviously he's got he's got free injury concerns in his team but you know it, it's he's got a bench that's going to fill in even even if it's just yep. a playing player you know so young q's going to play lunchroom's going to play yep. so you're fine yeah um it's very template but it's very uh it's very okay for now so yeah it's, perfect. Uh, it's a wild card team that is yeah exactly i would i would build that team so so we're saying yay to that team um all right next one and final one um for this like i would say the longer the longer rmts is from fpl kramer who was obviously on uh uh, uh, bernardo silva's side this week (laughs) Uh, right let me explain that joke so kramer is a famous uh character from seinfeld yeah, and, yeah. and the actor is famous for saying the the n word on stage during a, a stand up routine, and uh, was deemed a racist and hasn't had any jobs since. Oh, and really? so and so my Bernardo Silva joke was potentially just that he was racist as well. Uh, let's move on. Okay, so really? that, that, took some, that took some real stepping stones. You're but, welcome. Um, yeah. I just thought of it there too, and I felt like it deserved a little bit of an explanation. Yeah, um, sure, well like I said, it, yeah. I am drunk. Okay, so FPL Kramer, <laughs> FPL Kramer, uh, your team is again template. Although, if you've noticed, he does have Aguero in. Uh, because he's a clever gent, and Manny instead of Salah, and Yarmolenko. Yeah, this this for me actually is is the most interesting so far. Yep. Because he's he's subverted the structure that is so popular this season, which is is a budget forward and a very premium midfield. So the fact that he he's gone without Sterling, and he's also gone without Salah is is uh, is mm-hmm. interesting for me. I, you know, it's mm-hmm. not it's. It, it, it doesn't mean that I change anything about this team. I still think it's pretty much perfect. It's just it's a different structure to mine. And, you know, I'm still on that budget front two, and I'm going for the two five three, which yep. you know is 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 mixed fortunes at the moment. Yeah, everyone but... started uh, big at the back, and then and and now the uh, the optimal kind of formation is three four three, right? That, that's that's something that everyone's going to because so many strikers are viable at the moment. Um, it was something that I've struggled with a lot. You know, Callum Wilson, Alaire, Abraham, Firmino, Abayang, Aguero, um, fucking Delafeu. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, they're all, they're all, they're all, they're all really viable. Um, so, yeah. so four, three, four, three is the optimal um, uh, formation to have as many strikers as you can. Um, uh, Tommaso's actually just said no shit dave's venturing into politics uh and then brian said a few more bourbons and we can tackle tackle brexit <laughs> <laughs> just on brexit no i'm kidding i'm kidding absolutely absolutely not absolutely not. I don't, yeah exactly like i'm just wait i hope that it gets so fucked to the point where we get independence and we can go and join the eu with ireland and that uh, you guys are stuck with fucking boris trump that would be great <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, did you? Sell okay, it. so I just wanna I just wanna talk about the Bernardo Silva thing really quickly, um, because a few people have DM'd me because they were you know too scared to tweet, and that's fair enough because it's a very very intricate and delicate topic and a lot of people are worried about it and i know i've been drinking and i know you've been drinking so it might not be the best platform to talk about this right Uh, and we don't have to talk about it all i'm gonna say is do you remember that south park episode where token was getting upset about racism and then for a long time during the, the the episode stan kept saying you know this is the reason and this is the reason and this is the reason and and token kept saying you know i don't I don't think you understand. No, you don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. Um, And then eventually Stan came to the realization that he gets it because he doesn't get it. I don't get it. And now I get it. And Token's like, yes, you get it. Now, if you followed that, it basically means you have never been in their shoes. You've never been in someone. If you are not a minority, if you are not a black minority, you will never understand you know how they feel about this situation and so therefore i am i am absolutely staying clear of saying whether i agree or not it's 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 simply a case of i just don't understand like it's a it's a, it, either it was a racist tweet or it wasn't a racist tweet but it has racist connotations and so therefore it's a bit iffy and i probably wouldn't have tweeted it with my 1000 followers or 2000 followers or whatever the fuck i'm on now let alone like the the millions of people that see him play every single week. So it was probably a bit insensitive, um, uh, but I don't get it. And so, and so I just don't know what to say about it. What do you feel? <laughs> are you on the same, <laughs> well, are you on the same I wavelength think, as me? I think we should defer this to ethnic minority, Adam Smith from Stow Market. <laughs> <laughs> Who, uh... <laughs> Morpheus in the chat. Is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I'm, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a white straight male, so I, I agree, I, I agree with what you're saying. You know, I, I, it's not, it's not, it's not really my place to comment on whether or not it was offensive. Um, all I would say is that I, I feel as though we are all guilty sometimes of uh, making these mistakes. Uh, as ignorant yeah. white males, and yeah. Bernardo Silva is no exception. The only difference is that Bernardo Silva did it, as you pointed out, to his millions of uh, followers, which was obviously naive and, uh, you know, a, an absolute lesson in how not to do PR when you're a footballer. So I think uh, it's a lesson that he will take on, and uh, probably a lot of other players yeah. will. Um, you know, and, and actually, one of the, the things that he tweeted out, which I don't think helped his cause at all, was. He, can't he take tweeted, a joke or whatever exactly yeah. and a half an hour later saying you know i can't even joke with my friends anymore yeah. and no and of course you know. can't because there's fucking a million like 15 year olds 14 year olds 13 year olds following you taking this yeah. shit using the racist connotation and now to be honest when i first seen it i was like well he like you know I, I understand the tweet but then looking into it and all the people who have been tweeting saying actually this chocolate bar has racist connotations and then seeing like the amount of press that they had or the marketing that they used uh, with blackface and all that stuff like oh actually this this fucking chocolate bar has a lot of racist shit that has gone on for a while with it and uh and and bernardo silva used that specific racist chocolate to identify mendy with like that's fucking like out there like why would you do that so 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 yeah so so i think that you know, kick it out has a has a good a good indication of this sort of thing. It's like, look, yes, clearly he's your mate. Clearly he's on your team. Clearly you are Spanish, so in UK you're black, right? Like that that's not even a joke. That's that's like you are not white. You are and you are saying these things. However, you have loads of people who look up to you and you are using something that has racist connotations to identify another human being. That's yeah, bad news. I think that's fundamentally the issue. That's it. That's all it is. So all he needs to do is say, I'm really sorry. I didn't realize I'm a fucking idiot. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll do better next time. Now, he might get banned. So someone in the chat has said, because uh, we won't talk about this. Or it's Portuguese. Sorry about that. 
Um, he'll probably now have someone employed to do his Twitter for him. Yeah, I would, I, I would definitely take that, uh, Morpheus. Your name is so close to one of the best act, uh, the best characters of all time. Matrix is my favorite movie, by the way. If I haven't, I yeah, haven't I think that. I think he's playing off that. I think he's. I hope he, People he's, used to know Adam as. Well. Look at this, right? So if you can see my thing, right? I'm gonna move my camera just a bit to the left. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. See the last poster in my in my room. That is a Matrix poster. So I've got Shaun of the Dead, which is my favorite comedy, The Hobbit, which is my favorite book, and then The Matrix, which is my favorite movie. So dark in there. I know. So dark and mysterious. It's dark. I think with I think with Bernardo Silva and Mendy thing, you know, one of the things that a lot of people are defending Bernardo Silva is like, well, Mendy came out and said, I'm not offended. And, you know, if Mendy wasn't offended, then why should anyone be offended? But the thing is that Mendy shouldn't be uh, expected to be responsible for, you know, the entire uh, race that he he purports to represent you know he might not be offended but i don't think that's the issue here i think it's that there may be other people man city fans and and football fans who who were offended regardless of what mendy thinks you know if you're going to joke with your friend like me and you might joke dave yeah we wouldn't necessarily do it in public over twitter you know we would we would we would save our yeah what's up we would save our (laughs) jokes for our whatsapp group exactly yeah yeah. and then you know it's fine it never any no one's none the wiser so I, i i just feel like it's you know, Bernardo Silva doesn't have to apologize to Mendy. He has to apologize to to other people that may have found it offensive. Even yeah. If Mendy didn't. So, um, what does that mean for FPL? Uh, uh, Tommaso has asked, uh, "Is Bernardo going to play?" I would assume that Pep, knowing that he may possibly get six six game weeks of bans coming his way, will play Bernardo in his last game uh, that he might be able to be able to play, and then and then going from there. You know, we'll see what comes. But if if I was playing football manager and I knew that potentially, you know, this player was going to get six six game weeks worth of bans, I'd play him in the game that I knew he could play, and then and then take the ban as it comes. However, um, what I've recognised with Pep is he's kind of playing each player two game weeks and then a rest, and two game weeks and a rest, and that's that's kind of what Bernardo Silva's uh, history has been. So he was actually due to play this game anyway. Um, so yeah, I think he's going to play, I think he's going to play along with David Silva and, uh, and, and yeah. So if you've got him, then awesome. If you've not, then don't worry about it. Um, is it Mara's time? You know, that's the big question you've got to ask, but we don't have time for that question right now. We've already talked about Mara's. Um, what do we think of this team? I think we've already, already confirmed this team is good. Yeah, um, it's fine. Again, it's it's boring to say. I really like a double Liverpool defence because I've got it myself. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, you know, I've I've got faith in it for the meanwhile. Like, ultimately, if we look at this defence, Otamendi, Alexander Arnold, Van Dijk, you know that is a game week one defence, isn't it? That's a defence that people were talking about at the start of the yep. season, like a nailed on Man City defender and two Liverpool defenders. You know, and and, and as much as Ad, you know, uh, Allison's been injured and Adrian's in his place. Still, I feel like there's dependability in that back line. Uh, and I feel like on game weeks where they, they're not necessarily high scoring and maybe the attackers that you're expecting to score don't, it's having a defence like that that kind of gets you over the average. And, and, and it's, I've always... I've always put a lot of stock in a good defence and I really like that about this team. I don't like the fact there's no Sterling because I still think he's the best player in the Premier League at the moment. Yeah. Um, so, I... I, But you can't have it all and Aguero is the best striker in the Premier League and maybe one of the best strikers in the world at the moment. So uh, yeah, it's just about who you prioritise. You know, I mean, I, I would very happily take this team over mine at the moment. Perfect. I love that. I love that sentiment. For me, yeah, you, you know, I would probably go without a, a Liverpool attacker uh, over Sterling. Um, and in this case, if you've got Mane and you can upgrade him and downgrade someone else, um, like mm-hmm. Yarmolenko to a, you know, a Dendonker type player, um, you know, a 4.5, play Cantwell every week. And then, uh, and that way you get Sterling every week. I would do that for the, at least the next four game weeks um, over Manny's difficult fixtures and then come back the other way around after. Um, he obviously yeah, he has four, he has three city players, um, mm. which is obviously the issue. But yeah, I think, I think I'm, I'm with you. Sterling's a bit of an issue, although he's got Aguero now, so there's nothing we can do about it. And we don't That's like telling thing. people to change premiums. 
Yeah, it would it would take some surgery, and and actually, I, I would say, like for me, having triple Liverpool, triple City, and and having in a structure that he's got, as in two defenders for Liverpool, one the midfielder, and then one of each for for City, is a really nice. I mean, that is a, a fantastic fundamental spine. If he kept that for the whole season, and whether he's got the willpower to do that remains to be seen. But if he did. I feel like he'd probably profit in the long term. I think that's this. This is a team that's been set up, maybe with the exception of Yarmolenko. This is a team that's been set up for the long term, and I, I always like a team that looks like that. Yep, I agree. All right, so we're so every single rate my team that has came uh, through Twitter has been a let's save. We like it, <laughs> which yeah, is great. Let's, I mean, I'm waiting for a shit one. Yeah. All right, so let's do. Any. Let's do now. We're gonna go to full screen. Let's do your team, Dave. No, don't do my team. <laughs> we'll do my team. We'll That'll do be my a team. shit one. <laughs> um, so let's do. We're gonna do uh, a, a quick fire round yeah. of uh, the Reddit uh, teams that have been posted. I and can't then, believe that, that Adam Smith is in this stream. I feel like I'm dreaming. It's like a weird dream. <laughs> you, should text I, him. you should text him. You should definitely yeah, do I it. Don't know. I don't think it's, it's been it's been a solid five or six years, but I, <laughs> I don't know if I've got his number anymore. But yeah, it's... Uh, it's <laughs> right, so this is from uh, our, uh, our you slash soccer savvy sativa which is a oh, cool. uh, 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 marijuana stream, I'm sure. Um, and it's pretty much the same. <laughs> it's pretty much the same team. So uh, our, funny our shits it. hold our, our advice. This is a, look at this. This is unbelievably template. It's a perfect team. This yeah. uh, ideal. D keep it. Yep. Yep. Definitely keep it. Right. Uh, we're moving straight along. This is from uh, Molpheus three thousand. Hey. Um, which is his team now he's sent it in a weird weird post we that i can't adam, actually zoom in on which is weird adam um, smith's on reddit so it's all right i can see it from here see it. oh wow so, that's big. So we've got to we've got oh hang on there we go you've done it i mean i'm okay, trying right. my best you nailed it yeah <laughs> this is nice this, look at the look at the diff okay so he's got pope tamori mendy cresswell cantwell son sterling de bruyne amount uh, Callum Wilson Kane so I would say that his midfield is very 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 much uh, a template and then he's got Mendy instead of Otto Mendy and he's got Callum Wilson and Kane over the the budgets I mean obviously the the, the big elephant in the room here is that there's no Liverpool at all which is uh you know they they are top of the league so I I, I, I get oh he's got Van Dijk on the he's bench, Van Dijk on the bench. Contra yeah. controversial imagine being having such a good team that you can have fucking Van Dijk on the bench that's what happens when you don't have Mo Salah you know this is a guy who uh came in the top 250 last season as he's already informed us on the stream so uh i'm i'm gonna fucking take a bow to him and say you know what you know what you're doing better than better than me i mean i mean you know clearly anyone who's got cresswell in their team at the moment it is uh is probably one step ahead of the game i would never i, I wouldn't touch cresswell personally or any of the west ham defense cresswell's position is is only there so long as there's injury in that squad um it yeah, I, I I would want Liverpool in here personally. Yeah, I, I, that's fair. I mean, I wouldn't bring in a defender if I didn't have one now because he's pl playing Leicester. Then you know they've got Man City soon. They've got uh, a few other hard hard to win games: Tottenham, Aston Villa, um, who are looking like they can score against anyone. Um, but yeah, no, everything about this this team says scream. It screams hold, doesn't it? I haven't we haven't. I just really admire this. I really admire this team because to 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 keep the faith in Kane and Callum Wilson, yeah. none of those are template, and to keep faith in both of them, I think. I mean, as he's po pointed out on the on the comments here, he's top two hundred k. Yeah, I mean, higher than both of us. So whatever he's doing, he's doing good. I would say probably just continue because And he's had Jesus. them from game week one, he says as well. Yeah, no, Cal yeah. Wilson is just a good hold for now. He's he's shown that he can be consistent. Kane, I would I would love to see that as uh you know, you've got Son anyway, so you could probably do a Kane to Obama Yang at some point. Yeah, um, has, I agree. But he has two good fixtures before Liverpool. So um, maybe keep the faith with Kane for a few weeks more and then you can move on to Obama Yang and then you've got, you know, uh, you know, 
Van Dyke to come in, Lundstrom to come in against Watford at some point, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, yeah again, hold. I, I think we're on the same side. Yeah, I'm with you there. I think my fundamental mistrust in Spurs uh, means that a double up on their attack is risky, but, yeah, I like it. It could be a great differential. All right. Uh, the I think we've got two more teams to go. Um, Pope, Alexander-Arnold, Otamendi, Lundstrom, Salah, Sterling, De Bruyne, Mount, Camwell, Pookie, Abraham. We've literally seen this team, like, three times in our answers. Wow, we old. really have. And, Unbelievable. And that is Hold. from, that is from uh, the Chob, or a Chob. Uh, I don't know how to say his name, but it sounds like a penis uh, reference. Um, yeah, it probably is if it's Reddit. Yeah. Uh, okay, next team comes from up to something. Uh, for context, I'm wild carding with the intention uh, that when De Bruyne is definitely fit again, I'll double swap him back in. Um, so that is, uh, I think, this team or this team. Yeah, I'm going to say it's this team. I could just click it again, can I? There you go. All right, so we've got Ederson and goals instead of Otamendi, um, which I actually think is a mistake. If you're going to spend that much in the back, um, Otamendi has a tremendous attacking uh, rate, he does, yeah. uh, for corners and stuff. So um, I would maybe kind of swap out Lundstrom and Edison for Heaton and, and Otamendi. And you could do that as well. But Lundstrom is a out of position, so it's a difficult one. He's got um, Peters in on the bench and Soyunku. So he's got some fixture, uh, some... Yeah, Peters is the one I'd be looking at to get rid of there. I think Lundstrom is a is a definite hold, but P- Peters p- potentially out. Burnley actually don't necessarily look as good as I think a lot of managers hope they would this season. They haven't been keeping the clean sheets uh, that they maybe would have done two seasons ago. So I would look at potentially getting rid of Peters, but I don't mind Edison there. For me, the, the, bigger, the bigger gap, and it may be just an injury thing, is KDB. I think the lack of him is... You know, if, if that's a, a long-term or even medium-term solution, I imagine that his most recent transfer was KDB out for Mahrez. I, I might be mistaken there, but uh, if that is the case, I think it's a risky game to play, as we've already discussed. Yeah, he, he said that for context, he's on wildcard just now and he could bring KDB in next week. So Right, um, okay, yeah. I, I love, I love Mahrez as a punt uh, i like yeah last I, did. Week. I was very close to bringing him in i chose son instead uh who probably would have done a little bit better uh had Aurea not like shot the bed but um mcginn mm. is someone we shouted for a while and then there was this big like community um we don't like mcginn and so he kind of stopped being this up and comer but he's proved them all wrong two goals in two games um and then we've got abraham Aubameyang and Callum Wilson like the 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 strike force that people are trying to get in just now so yeah again this is another hold we literally haven't seen anything that we would like to change maybe Ederson and Peters to Pope and Otamendi but apart one thing that, I would say one thing I would say about Callum Wilson just because we've seen him in a few teams now as as much as he's he's returned he's the only player I think that's returned in every single game so far I do I don't necessarily, he's, he's, he's definitely overperforming on all of his stats. So I do feel as though Callum Wilson could return to the mean soon. I don't know if I'd necessarily bring him in on a wild cards, but mm. that's uh, that's just me. He's yeah. obviously a great player who's going to, across the course of the season, is going to do well. And Mulfius3000 there just said in the chat that stat earlier on Reddit that McGinn is second to only Sterling for shots in FPL so far. Yeah, I, think I saw for, that. I think it was for mids, but yeah, that's... that's. I saw that. And I, t- I tell you what I loved about that stat is the fact that because I've got Sterling, it just made me feel great about earning Sterling. I didn't even yeah. think about McGinn, yeah. but it just makes me feel uh, good about having Sterling. I agree. Okay, so so that's a keep as well, right? Let's let's can- cancel that. And the last one that we're going to look at today is from Wise Potato. And he has sent his team in uh, with the transfer window uh, or the transfer tab which is great he's got rea which is you know a red a red flag um but mm. everyone else is pretty template as well he's playing uh, a three a three five two uh he's got Pereira, which a lot of people have uh have decided to against splashing the cash on um in favor of soyeng chu is that how you pronounce his name you're really good at it say his name uh, I, you mocked me the last time I tried to pronounce. No, his I name. said it was really good. I was I was being sincere. Soyongchu. Soyongchu. Yeah, there we go. Bang. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's so right. Pereira, Robertson, Lundstrom. Um, he's got Salah, Sterling, De Bruyne, Cantwell, Mount, 
Pookie Abraham, yeah, it's the same team that we've seen all the time. Um, I would probably downgrade Aurier to someone like Cresswell or yeah. Tamori or uh, Kelly even, and then just bank that money and potentially upgrade Canwell when he decides not to perform ever again, or maybe even try and get enough money to move Abraham to Vardy in the future or Mount to 100%. Madison, some something that you can bring in for the Le- Le- Leicester fixtures. 100% for me, you know, Aurier, he's now going to miss Tottenham's best fixtures. He's always prone to a red card anyway, so I'll yeah. get rid of him now. Yeah. Uh, possibly double uh, double lesser defence isn't the yeah, worst I idea after it. Liverpool. I was, I was looking at that myself. Um, I decided against it in the end uh, just because I've already got Farquad and Pereira is a big jump and it means I can't bring in uh, Sterling for my triple city attack. But yeah, no, I was definitely looking at it. It was something that I was considering and, and definitely something that all the all the uh, communities to considering this 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 week as well as as a differential. So, uh, double 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 Leicester after Liverpool is is, is definitely viable. Um, yeah. But yeah, no. Uh, quick fire round done. That's us. Cool. Um, thank you so much. Um, we've been going so long in a stream that my lights have actually lost Barry. So I am now <laughs> a, f- a phantom. Um, oh, this is like the they've turned off stream. yeah no we do have an after hour stream actually but i think we've been going on too long for even that That's um it. thank you so much for being my first ever fpl and chill how do you feel oh I, I i've really really loved it i just think you're you're such a great host the fact that you've you've you, you're managing to to include all of this in one stream is uh yeah i just think i've got a lot of admiration for you i'm, I'm very happy to be on here i can't believe that adam smith from university is on here <laughs> that's as well. so weird that's, uh, that's blowing. <laughs> it's really weird and uh yeah just um just 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 very happy to be to be involved thank you very much yeah um, and tomaso on on stream has has quite rightly said that's why it takes so long so thank you so much for 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 coming along for two and a bit hours um and i'll see you next week on the pod i assume and and good luck for yeah. game week game week eight thank you so much yeah, for being yeah. a part and of you man and you and perfect and all your viewers as well good luck folks all we right need it. We oh, need it. Yeah, we definitely need it. <laughs> Three million overall. Right. Thank you very much, everyone. Oh, wow, I really am a shadow of my former self right now. Thank you very <laughs> much for, for joining us. And uh, we'll see you next time, next Thursday, uh, for our next guest. I'm not going to spoil it just now, but um, uh, it's great. Oh, do you want to show them what you were working with for those that have stuck around with uh, your background before I, before I leave? What's that? Oh, well, really? It. Yeah, yeah, oh, do it. Yeah. Well, I told, no, no, I told it's really going to be it. It's really going to be a fucking anticlimax, this is. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Go for it. I don't even know what... I, hang on a minute. So, oh, I don't so, even think I so can do I'll it. paint the picture. You know, what? you know what the worst thing is, though? I don't even think I can do it on here without the app. Oh, so no. You know I'm not on the app anymore. I know, that's gutting, isn't it? Ba- basically, viewers, all that happens is that the background behind me goes blurry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the most underwhelming thing <laughs> you're probably going to see on a thursday night so uh, you're not you're not missing out <laughs> perfect well thank you very much buddy for 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 joining us and thank you everyone who who made it into the chat i love you all very much thank you very much for the donations and the uh, subscriptions and the follows and everything um and we'll we'll see you on monday good luck game week uh game week eight cheers guys, there, guys. Bye, cheers. bye 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 bye